that you come here to study or to work for whatever reason. And uh, all of us uh, do write about Delhi in, in different ways. So we thought it would be an interesting idea to look at Delhi. Gertrude and I have also had conversations about her uh, experiences in Delhi. So today the poems I'm going to read are going to be mostly from uh, new work and uh, not from the book that I published. Uh, but these are also poems about Delhi. The book, which is this one, which came out last year, which people published, uh, was about my discovery of Delhi. How I uh, started in learning about it, how the roads became familiar. This one is more about a person who lives in Delhi, who knows Delhi. So the first poem is called Poetry Reading. And uh, this was inspired by a poetry reading that happened in an open space under a tree. So, M fears the avian critic will shit on his head if it disapproves of his lines. Poets must learn to move quickly in public spaces, work in projectile criticism at their readings. There are other threats as well. His beef poem made someone propel a shoe at A, and nationalism screamed in anger, outrage at B's Kashmir Dalal. Others have found twisted ice picks stuck in their round Trotskyite skulls. Best to avoid the downstage area. Bullets are another hazard, but only if you piss off someone with a gun. Learn to cough between poems, be alert in a bar or university. The worst I have had is a mixer grinder crushing ice for a cocktail. It would sing at every enjambment. But this city is mostly safe. With luck, you will outrun the back eye, unlike poor Orpheus. If they despise your genius, they'll not tear apart your limbs, blind you, pluck out your heart. They'll just stare at the, at the TV behind you, or on their smartphones, browse Facebook. Nothing touches their bones, and words leading to murder are rare. It's all good, I tell you. Here we pretend to have an audience, like today. Even sell a few copies of our books, <laughs> like today. <laughs> In the Pelmel evening crowd outside, you will get used to the outright refusal of auto drivers. Though your words might conjure Noah's Ark, Sputnik 2, this posture will fade. You will grow less stuck up, casual. 